Hi everyone, I just wanted to quickly show you how you can get started with the now free license for Houdini Engine for use with Unreal and Unity. So to begin with, uh, we need to find this page here where we can read some more about specifics. So go to our homepage, sideeffects.com and click on this tile here, or simply search on Google for Houdini Engine for Unreal and Unity now free. So I'm just quickly going to click that link uh, where we can see this, where we can read lots of information about, um, you know, what the license is, how we can use it, uh, a couple of use cases and so forth. Uh, but I just quickly want to cover some basics. So in order to use this new license type, you need to use at least Houdini 18.5.499 or newer um, and, uh, and a license manager build um, also equal to that. Next up, uh, to talk about what you can do with this license. So this license really is meant for you to use the plugin interactively. So that means that you, for example, create an HDA inside of a commercial version of Houdini. So for example, core or an effects license, or you download some um, project files from our website or from Orbolt or from the Unreal or Unity marketplace and use those with in the plugin. The plugin is uh, this free license type will not give you a free license for Houdini, so uh, you can only use it interactively inside of the engine. So that means that you could, for example, have someone creating digital assets or yourself creating digital assets and then deploying these digital assets for, you know, as many users as you want using this free license inside of the engine. It works with Unreal, it works with Unity, it does not work with Maya and Max because it's not meant for that. It's specifically made for Unity and Unreal. And it can also not be used for batch processing. So that means, for example, uh, running PG jobs and so forth from within the plugins. Uh, it also does not support session sync because that would require a, a Houdini license itself. So unless you have a valid Houdini license that is a commercial license, so core or effects, those do also not work. So how do you get started? Uh, first of all, just click get free licenses or go to get and then buy uh, and you'll get to the exact same page. So I'm just going to, going to click that link and then we can decide which license type we want. Do we want a license for Unity or do we want a license type for Unreal? So in this case, I'm just going to click Unreal because I'll, I'll do this demonstration using Unreal. And then you'll get to this page that says Houdini card. Uh, just specify the number of licenses that you need. So, you know, if you're just an individual using it, one is sufficient. If you have multiple people on your team and you will be hosting the, uh, the license server, for example, you can pick more. Currently, uh, 10 is the limit that you can download uh, directly from our website yourself. If you need more, please do get in touch with uh, an account executive at SideFX and we'll be very happy to give you many more than that because you can get as many as you need. Then click on go to checkout where it'll ask uh, your um, contact information. So I'll just fill that out really quick. Click on next. It's going to you know, ask you to confirm that once again, and then just click next once again, and it will bring you to this page that says order complete. Next up, we need to download and install um, you know, the plugins. So what I'm going to do is just go to get once again, and then click on download, or simply press this button here that says download. Next up, make sure you download the production build 18.5.499 or newer for the platform of choice. So Linux, Mac, or Windows. I'm on Windows, so I'm just going to click this download button. That's automatically uh, the correct one for your platform. Next up, we need to read the, um, the EULA and uh, accept it. I already read it, so I'm just going to click accept. Houdini will then start downloading. All right, so I now have Houdini downloaded, so I'm just going to install it real quick and take you through some of the settings we need in there. Just click next, click agree, uh, make sure that you install the main application, uh, file associations, license server, which we're going to need to serve the actual licenses that we need. Make sure you tick side effects labs to get tons of uh, production tools that help you uh, do things specifically for game development. Uh, and then just click next. Next up, make sure that you tick the plugins that you want installed. So in this case, I know that I'm going to be using Unity. I know that I'm going to be using Unreal. Um, so I'm just going to select those and click next and then just wait for it to um, finish installing. 
Okay, once it's done, we're just going to click finish. Let's open um, the folder where the engine is installed. So in this case, C, program file, Epic Games, and then find the um, engine version that you're using. In this case, I'm going to be using Unreal 4.25. So just open up that folder, open the engine folder, click on plugins, uh, open the runtime one, and then we need to install Houdini engine to this folder. So browse to the um, install location of um, the Houdini build that you just installed. So for me, that is C, program file, side effect software, 18.5.499, and click on the folder that is called engine. Then you can see we have a couple of folders here. We have Unreal, Unity, and some other stuff that we don't care about. In this case, depending on the plugin that we're using, uh, we need to, you know, extract it to the engine itself. So since I'm using Unreal, I'm just going to be using Unreal and then select the version that we need. So we can see that we have 4.23, 4.24, 4.25 and 4.26. I am using 4.25 as you see. So I'm just going to open up this folder and then drag and drop that folder from this folder that we see here into the plugin slash runtime folder inside of the engine folder. Copy it over like that and then just open up your project. Once we have the uh, game engine open, we will now need to enable our plugin. So the way we can do that is just click on settings here, click on plugins, and then we can see that we have Houdini engine version two. So make sure that is enabled, which it is, so that is good. Um, and that should give us this window here where we can see Houdini engine. Next up, we need to install our license. So the way that we need to do that is by um, going here on the Windows uh, button and typing license administrator. So find the license administrator that is um, the one that you need. So in this case, 18.5.499. I'm just going to close that error there. Um, click on file and say install licenses. This is going to give you this prompt here where we can select the version that we want to install. Um, in this case, I have two because I uh, recorded this video twice. So um, just select the license that you want and hit install. All right, so now that we have that, we can see that we do indeed have our uh, free license here. I have a couple of other ones like a Houdini FX, a Karma Render, and some other things. That is because I have some commercial licenses. Um, but the only thing that you really need to worry about if you're just using Houdini Engine is this license here. So if this is here and it says that it is active, uh, you're all good, you're all set. Next up, just click on Houdini Engine uh, here and say create session. And that is going to start your Houdini Engine session and make sure that you can start using the plugin. All right, so now that we have installed Houdini Engine, let's get some free assets so we can test the plugin. So just open up your browser again, go to the sidefx.com website, click on get, then you know under there, click on content library, which is where we have tons of assets that we can download. For example, the wave function collapse, level generator, project files from our presentation, sci-fi level builder, uh, tons of other assets. But the one that I'm interested in right now is the Houdini engine starter kit. And this contains tons of assets made specifically for uh, Unity, made for Unreal, and has tons of really cool stuff in it. So just click download, uh, which will download that starter kit to your computer. So now that we have these extracted, just drag and drop those into your engine of choice and uh, pick any of the digital assets to drag into the level. So let's just pick the platform maker uh, first time you drag it in, it might be starting up the session, depending on whether or not you did that. Um, but once it's done and it's done cooking, we can see that it works nicely inside of the viewport, uh, where we now have all of the parameters that we would have inside of um, Houdini as well. So for example, uh, this exposed color parameter where you know we can change the color uh, or whatever it is that the asset does. Um, so let's take a look at what we can do with this asset. For example, um, on our settings here, click use Corpus platform. And now, you know, we can start playing around with uh, whatever these assets or example assets that we have uh, do for us. So for example, modifying that curve to generate some sort of terrain. Uh, let's, you know, create a procedural rock in there. And once that's done cooking, we can see that we now have this rock where we can, you know, change settings with, um, for example, you know, including increasing the density Oh, that doesn't do anything, it seems, uh, or this procedural tree or any of the other tools that we have. There we go.
that's all you need to do to get Houdini Engine installed uh, using the free license.